Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another season of Spurs Up. I'm Derek Rush as always with our new co-host Connor Lomas, repa replacing Jack Taylor, who we miss, but we are so excited to have Connor. Connor, how's it going, man? That's good. <laughs> we have a special guest with us here today. Um, he's a club basketball player from Columbia, Maryland, sophomore here at the university, Aaron Hurst. Hey, Aaron, how are you today, sir? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Yeah. So Aaron, let's just give let's just give a little backstory here. You know, uh, as I said, you're a sophomore. What 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 kind of brought you to the university? Um, so I wanted like a nice sports school. I wanted nice weather. I wanted to get away, not too far, not too close. So I, I felt like South Carolina was a good like mix of everything. I, now I know you yeah. said you're from Maryland. It's a little cold right now. Is this cold weather something that you're used to? Is this a little bit chillier? Maybe is it is it? I how, how how's it feel like? I know you you thinking like. South Carolina is going to be warm weather. It's going to be sunny skies and everything like that. But it's 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 about it's about 35 degrees right now That's outside. Cool. So yeah, I mean, this this week's been freezing like specifically, but I'm I'm kind of getting used to the warm weather here already. So yeah, yeah, I wasn't I feel expecting that. it. No, you know I'm from Maryland. You know yeah. I feel it. Yeah, yeah. but uh, so you've been playing since you were like four. Yes, sir. So how big of an impact does basketball have on your life? Do you when what do you want to do with it after school? That's what um, I don't really like. Originally, when I was younger, I wanted to be like in the NBA and everything. Yeah, of but now. I just find it as like, it's my passion. It's probably the thing I love most in life. That's awesome. It just keeps me having fun every day. For sure, for sure. So, no, I feel that. But I mean, let's see, do you know what you kind of want to do after school? Not really. Um, well, I'm a stat major and a right. sport and entertainment minor. So I want to like combine the two. Ideally, just like be a statistician for a sports team. It doesn't oh, have to be basketball, but that's cool. It's my favorite sports. So. And so we're, we're talking about club sports here yeah. and you, you play club basketball. Do you feel that there's a, do you feel like there's a, I guess a lack as far as attention when it comes to club sports. Do you feel that the the university maybe doesn't give as much credit to club sports as they probably should? Um, I can agree with that. I mean, it's hard to tell because I feel like every school will be different for how they treat club sports. But I think we get a fair amount of recognition. It's not nothing crazy, but I mean, it's only clubs. So you can't really ask for much. So I mean, as far as competition, even how how do you how does competition as far as um, when you play other universities are is the competition is it fairly high? Would you say, or is it? Yeah, you, know, you have your you have your high teams and low teams. I mean, I'm sure with even with Division One sports, you have some teams. Obviously, you're going to get up right. for a divi like a, a Division One Double A team, a little bit more than a maybe a Division Two team. But you know, I'm, I just talk about that for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, um, I've only played like a fair amount of schools, maybe like ten or eleven. But uh, we definitely have our schools that we know are like top tier. It kind of it kind of reminds me of AAU ball in a sense, okay. where like bunch of people like from the same spot just like get together and just go play ball i mean we definitely have played some lower level teams for the most part it's really good competition so you mentioned a did you play through high school like middle school everything pretty much yeah i played um basically middle school and high school okay cool yeah. and along with like high school basketball yeah. so it's kind of like a balance there yeah I, I couldn't get off the court yeah I, I believe it i believe it i see you all the time at strom too yeah so, you know, so like, how is the workload for a club athlete is it is it up to is it up to the same amount of levels of difficulty i mean I, like cause with a division one team or even with the with i mean with our team here you they have weightlifting, they have study halls they have all these all these i guess a lot of times that is their schedules pretty much mapped out for them the difference with that what's the difference with with a club athlete um it's not nearly as serious as that i mean high school i remember we practiced almost every day we could this year, we only practice twice a week for two hours. It's still a good amount. I mean, it's hard to get everyone in the gym at the same time because of classes, but yeah, about four hours practice a week and then games. That's about it. That's not too bad. So talk to us about like your relationship with your, with your team, with your coach, you know, like you all hang out outside of, you know, practice games and stuff. And what, yeah, just give, give us an overall about your relationship with like I mean, the yeah. organization as a whole. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of cool because we have guys from all different ages. Okay. So I've definitely become close with a couple dudes who like aren't sophomores, but yeah, I've, I've only made a couple like real close friends that I hang out with outside, but we all enjoy each other like at practice and stuff. So yeah, for sure, it's cool like that. Yep, no doubt. Don't have a problem with that. So all right, you're off campus, right? You're you're walking around doing whatever. Where'd yeah. you go to to go eat around in Columbia? Whew, I mean, I, I'm on the meal plan dollars <laughs> system right now, so I, I go to Russell House a lot. There What's you your go. favorite Russell you place? Tavolino. You got Chick Fil A. You got the pizza place upstairs, the Southern Kitchen. I mean, which one do you like the Personally, best? Personally, I think it's all mostly subpar, so I'm going to have to go with Chick-fil-A. Oh, <laughs> I'd say it's the best, like, for what you're looking for. Yeah, there's no doubt. You yeah. ever take, like, Chick-fil-A with you to practice or something when nah. you're just running late? Nah, no. I'm usually running late to practice anyways. So. Oh, 
Yeah. It's all good, bro. Usually eat afterwards. But um, so, what's your role like on the team? Like, are you? I assume you play point guard. Yeah, I'm the smallest one. I kind of figured that. Yeah. I mean, no, no offense, but so nice. like, yeah, you, you get you playing a lot. Like, you getting out there, you getting your minutes. Yeah, I mean, we like to earn our minutes in practice. Like, whoever yeah. plays the best shows up the most. There you but, go. But uh, usually, we like to rotate guys evenly. Okay. I mean, we don't have an actual coach. It's like a president, kind of. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah, he likes to rotate everyone evenly. So would you say, guy. and you and you're from Maryland? Yeah. Um, the northern the northern part of the country is is, no, is notorious for having good point guards, very solid. Right. Uh, traditional point guards. Would you say the competition level in the South? Is, is the same or maybe a little bit different than, than what you're used to from being from Maryland? Because I know I played basketball uh, for the majority of my high school career here, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll tell you there have there've been some uh, very competitive guards. I played against John Morant. Oh, wow. um, I've, I've, I've played against Zion Williamson. Um, I played against Seventh Woods. Uh, the list is extensive, Jalik Felton, but I, I, so I mean, there's competition in South Carolina. I feel like South Carolina gets a little slighted at times um, for not necessarily being known for, for basketball. It's more of a football state, just being that right. it is the South. But how do you feel that the competition has been since you've been down here? Um, I mean, it's hard to tell. I've guarded a lot of really good point guards in my time. But um, I could say the main difference is uh, back up north, there's a lot more like driving point guards, I'd say, that I play against. And over here, it's more shooters. I'd say it's the only difference I've really noticed. Now, when you say, when you say shooters, um, are we talking about more like catch and shoot off ball action? Or are we talking about like they're just, they're, they're not, I know you said driving, are they not trying to get to the basket as often? Or are, 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 are you just talking about more off ball, off ball play? I would say like specialty is shooting rather than driving. I see, yeah. I see. Gotcha, yeah, so Derek's, definitely Derek's over here, he's like, he's like saying like Zion and John Moran, I didn't even know that, so that just yeah. kind of threw me off. But, but, so speaking of all these big names, you know, what's like, who do you look up to? Who do you want to play like? Like, what's what's your, like? What are you, um, Chris Paul kind of guy? My my role model has always been Steph Curry, but okay, I'd say right now Damian Lillard's really been lighting it up. I've been looking up to him recently. Interesting. I was but, just watching Ballers, and Steph Curry has a has a spot on that show. I didn't know. Oh, really? I didn't, yeah, he's he's in there with like The Rock and everything. It's pretty wow. cool. Yeah, check it out. You'll like that. I might have to. Yeah. yeah, you'll like it. No doubt. Well, that's all we have for today, guys. And until next time, South Carolina, Spurs up. <laughs>